150 foot working four car, 28 passenger Ferris wheel. It works on engine power. It is a little bit slow. I'm still working on that, but it does turn for about a 20 minute one turn ride. And it's beautiful. I took a cow on it. I took Otis on it. Um, and I went around a lot of, a lot of times. It's scary, it's terrifying. The process was arduous and it took a lot of patience. It took a lot of persistence, but we were able to figure something out here and I can't wait to show you guys the process and what I used to hold these cars in because if you guys can unlock this ability and this skill, I, I, I'm excited to see what Gen Pop is able to do with something like this. Uh, this took a long time to figure out. Uh, there were a lot of different models and ways that I thought this was going to work. Um, I had to create multiple different testing points and checkpoints to test whether or not this was actually going to hold up long term. And even when I got things working, and I think that I did get it working, there's still possibilities that the cars can fly off randomly, you know? Um, but I got it to a point where I can easily repair it, and I'm excited to show you guys the process that I went through like the rod itself and the wheel itself, I had to change to a whole different model. I used uh, a, like a regular castle pillar for the centerpiece and then changed up the whole cart process with the second model. I actually had like almost a working theory with the first version, uh, but it didn't quite work out. The wheel ended up breaking and I had to do a remodel. Um, that's why you'll see the, the wheel kind of take a whole different aesthetic look uh, halfway through this video. I genuinely thought some of these hitches were going to work. I was absolutely foolish to think that some of these would work. I didn't put tires on some of the corners thinking that when it would go around that it was going to hold up. I was being foolish, but I ended up figuring it out. I thought maybe I could build a cheap one, but... Every time I went cheap with the carts, they ended up falling off every time I exited render distance or exited the world and came back. And that was my main test. I ended up having like four or five different levels of testing that I had to put the carts through to make sure that they were going to stay long term. Because that was the big focus was longevity, being able to bring people in, ride the rides, do this in a creative server for community events and make sure that it holds the test of time so I'm not having to constantly do repairs and make it easy enough to operate without me being there. Hopefully we've accomplished something like that. We do have a tutorial coming out, hopefully in the next week or two, on how to create one of these in the simplest way possible. Uh, but yeah, I went through a hard discovery process, figuring out what the best option and best course of action was going to be on making this wheel. I went through a center phase where I thought, that I was just gonna have the cart hooked to a center rod. And then I went back to the two rods uh, holding a uh, cart in the middle really quick because it didn't work out with the whole tires and stuff. And I didn't have a good way of making the cart uh, connected to that. But like, yeah, I mean, I just, it was, it was mistake after mistake, uh, try after try, trial after trial, like just trying to figure out the best holding system and mechanism for this while also not breaking everything that I had previously built because these are a lot of separated parts and if you place a part too close, it completely destroys all the tires and we all dread that sound, but um, eventually I got to a point where I was starting to figure it out. Like here, I realized that it wasn't falling through the tires and so I put walls on the side. Uh, and then on this model, I shortly realized that it, it was gonna fall through the bottom once it got to the top. So I ended up having to put tires on the top and we eventually got to this six simple tire uh, kind of uh, gearbox type of thing that are that is holding in these large tires. And this seemed to work a lot better. Now, this wasn't the end of my journey. I still had a lot of mishaps and stuff to go through before I got to the final version. But this step, figuring out that the six tires were going to hold it in um, if I placed them right, was huge, was huge in the journey of making this. Up to this point, I didn't know if it was going to be possible, but this version passed all the tests. I was able to leave render distance. I logged out, I came back, I jumped on it, could dance on it, I brought a cow on it, I brought Otis on it. Um, it just, it passed all the tests. People were logging in and out while I was using it. Um, so this is the version I'm going with. 
We're not gonna go with this wheel version though. We gotta replace the center piece and come up with like a lighter version, which is exactly what we did. We put the exact same cart mechanisms in, put the seats in, decorated it. And you know, I got a little bit lonely. It was like day four or five. So we decided to have a little fun and I forced Scrappy to go on a ride with me. But hey, I, I think he might've had fun or I thought he had fun. But then on my way back around, I found something in the air that may have suggested otherwise. Oh, he pooped in the air. Look, his poop is just hanging here. Look at it. And I feel like absolutely honored to be one, the first person to ever bring a cow on a Ferris wheel. And two, you know, to be able to make that cow scared poopless, literally mid air on the ride. So that was great and that was fun, but you can never, you can never sit in the good times too long without being vigilant before something bad happens. And on my next pass around, that's exactly what we found out. You know, we lost the car. Um, and instead of just sitting there and being still, we activated ADHD mode and turned on the thrusters for some reason. So um, we ended up losing another car here. And at this point, it's like 20, 25 cars. You start to start to get a little disheartened. You don't want to keep going. And I have people, you know, when they see me frustrated, they go, you should take a break, yada, yada. But you got to know your own limits. And I understand that frustration is important and it's something that can be used. And I used it to finish this off. And I got those carts in and we went for a ride with Otis. Just take a seat, to be honest, just, just relax. I, I know you're, look. It's just, it's just a Ferris wheel. Okay, I know you're scared of heights, but we're just gonna go one time around. Okay, the cow already went on, so you should not. The attitude, like what is happening? Okay, well, you know what? Let's just go. I'm just gonna let you sit down, but if you don't wanna sit, fine. <sighs> yeah, you know, maybe we just chill here, you know? Rock it back and forth, have a little fun. What do you think about that, Otis? Yeah, it's not very fun looking down below your feet. Yeah, it's pretty scary. It'd be a shame if I just like pushed you off, but we're good friends, aren't we? <gasps> Gates. Yeah, I realized I needed to uh, stop people from jumping off. And then it started raining with Otis on, and then I realized that I needed some roof pieces as well, uh, but I needed to figure out the weighting balance. So we went up top and added a ton of red balloons. And to kind of help with the aesthetic, we added some Imperial beacon lights. I think this made it look really cool. You can see the red up top and the blue underneath in like the actual cart area. And then it's lit up by that Tinker light. I'm just hoping that they can improve the lighting system and these lights can be seen from further away because how cool would it be to have some colored lights all over this Ferris wheel? Absolutely stunning build regardless though. And here we go, the full walkthrough, the finished version of the Ferris wheel, the full carts. I'm gonna show you just how slowly it moves on the engine power. You can barely see that it's moving, but it is moving. And when it gets closer to the bottom, each cart, it, it speeds up a little bit. So it's roughly around like 15 to 20 minutes, I, I would say around the whole thing. Uh, on engine power but if you use the thrusters it takes like two power ons to get all the way around back to the starting point but yeah i think it's beautiful you know the lights look good it's got seating for seven on each and every car and so that equals 28 total passengers i'm not sure if all those people on would uh would edit the weight and make it like work differently but you know like i said we're gonna find that out because i'm gonna be building this a massive triple biome racetrack as well as a theme park in a community world for the entire craftopia community so make sure you join my discord you hit the sub button for more awesome builds and events that are going to be happening because guys now that we've got this in we're going racing stay tuned for the Craftopia 100, the inaugural race at the fairgrounds. My name is Flocka. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.